What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about the PlayStation 5 Pro because the system's specs have just seemingly leaked. We now know exactly how powerful this next-gen refresh is actually going to be, and honestly, it's pretty beefy. The actual digits of just how good graphics will be, load times, ray tracing, it seems like this is going to be a really good upgrade, but still people are asking, what's the point? The PlayStation 5 already has incredibly good graphics. I mean, especially on the exclusives like Spider-Man or Demon's Souls, God of War Ragnarok. The visual appeal of these games is already a standout. So what can a pro console do that's going to be better, to be different? Let's take a look at the leaks and see what they're trying to achieve. Hi, if you're having a good day, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So, I'll be honest, I'm feeling very sick today, so I apologize if I sound a bit different, uh, but I'm wearing my PlayStation hoodie, trying to have a good day. Let's get into this. So, multiple sources have chimed in on this, but officially, as of a couple hours ago, somebody has seemingly decided to post a bunch of technical details about the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, if you're wondering where the heck this is coming from, it's because dev kits have now gone out to studios. A bunch of developers now have their hands on it, and this isn't exactly new. This has actually happened in the past. For people with particularly long memories, back when the PlayStation 4 Pro was initially being talked about, dev kits got leaked then as well with exact console specifications back when that was called PlayStation 4 Neo. So the idea of this getting out this early, not a big shock. Now, we're going to take a look at the details itself from this article on WCC Tech because it actually goes very in detail as to what this technical stuff means. And additionally, it seems they may have a rough release date already in mind. So here we go. The additional PS5 Pro specs and details have potentially leaked 60% faster uplift, or sorry, 60% raster uplift, 2x ray tracing, September 2024 reveal. Now, this is super deep dive stuff that was posted over on the Reset Era forums. Now, again, the PlayStation 5 also got leaked specifically on Reset Era. This is where game devs typically go if they're trying to maybe slip out something they're not supposed to. A lot of times they'll use uh, some sort of secret handle or they'll have some leaker distribute the information. In this case, it definitely seems legit. But here's the actual stuff here. A lot of this is technical mumbo jumbo, like voila is fabbed on TSM. Uh, look, I don't know what that stuff means, but there is explanations of the more important aspects of this system. Like here, Voila's CPU is maintaining the Zen 2 architecture found in the existing PS5 for compatibility, meaning that even though this thing is bigger and beefier, obviously all PlayStation 5 games will work on a PS5 Pro, and also it does seem like there's not going to be any, any PS5 Pro exclusive games, the same way that there was no PS4 Pro exclusive games. But the frequency will once again be dynamic, with the peak being 4.4 gigahertz, 64 KB, and L1 cache per core. Okay, it's technical stuff that basically means this is a substantial upgrade, but here's the parts of it that actually strike me as the most next-gen of this next-gen refresh. Trinity is the culmination of three key technologies, fast storage with hardware accelerated compression and decompression already existing with key PS5 technology, accelerated ray tracing, and upscaling. So to me, already one of my favorite features of the PS5 that I've talked about a lot that the Xbox has as well. This is not some like bag on the Xbox, but I do really enjoy the solid state. It's cool that Levels instantly load, stuff populates quicker. If you're fast traveling, there's not that weird, cringy pop-in. But you do still occasionally encounter, specifically, 
weird texture pop in where you'll see a character that's in a cutscene and then suddenly you'll notice like their skin becomes even more HD or their facial hair or hair actually seems to get replaced partially through talking to them. Um, I've experienced even in recent games, Avatar had this where occasionally screens would randomly take a while to load. Like the characters would look at a monitor that was blurry because it had not finished loading. It sounds like this technology will make it so that that stuff basically will happen even less. The immersion will be an even smoother process. Of course, I'm also excited about that accelerated ray tracing and upscaling. So just in general, visuals being sharper, super approve of that. But Let's move on here. Architecture is RDNA 3, but it's taking ray tracing improvements from RDNA 4. Wow. BVH traversal will be handled by dedicated ray tracing hardware rather than fully relying on the shaders. It'll also include thread reordering to reduce data and exchange divergence akin to Ada Loveseer SER. Okay, so it sounds like this system is just basically trying to be that mid-gen refresh in between. Uh, there have been leaks and stuff that PlayStation and Xbox like the idea of having something to bridge the gap between the next-gen consoles. So we're already three years into the PlayStation 5. This will be four years into the PlayStation 5 that we're getting the Pro. Hypothetically, we're probably going to see a PlayStation 6 three to four years from now, so 2026 or 2027. It sounds like this is trying to be that advanced thing, so the people that choose to buy this are having a slightly better experience visually, but it's not going to instantly make your current PlayStation 5 inert. Now, going back to it here, this is the part of it that's actually interesting to me, is XDNA NPU will be featured for the purpose of accelerating Sony's bespoke temporal machine learning upscaling technique. This will be one of the core focuses of the PS5 Pro, the way we saw checkerboard rendering with the PS4 Pro. Temporarily scaled, upscaled uh, 4K output at higher than 30 FPS is the goal. So primarily, Multiple sources have essentially confirmed uh, all of this is to achieve a singular purpose, 4K 60 FPS. Now, that may not sound like a big deal to people who basically are just jumping into the console game. Maybe you're used to 60 FPS on games, but 60 FPS has surprisingly not been as hard locked as we would desire this console generation. Both the Xbox and also the PlayStation as good as their graphics have been, a lot of those games still seem to struggle to hit a solid FPS. A lot of them will either stutter, some of them will have dips, and some of them are just hard locked at 30 FPS, which to me is just not great. I, I definitely am a big fan of better freaking frame rate is a smoother experience. Now, what I'm hoping for personally is the option to go above 60 FPS. Uh, playing a lot on PC, I really appreciate games that managed it 90 or 100 FPS or really managed to go beyond the pale, especially with first person shooters. Playing a first person shooter at like 90 or 100 or 120 FPS, man, do you actually begin to notice how you interact with the game differently. So I'm excited for that. But how do we know this is real? So people have been chiming in about the fact that this is something that definitely seems to be legit. Tom Henderson, though, even chimed in on us. Tom Henderson is the PlayStation leaker. He is the guy who officially confirmed stuff like the PlayStation Portal months before it was revealed. He was the first person to talk about the PlayStation 5 Slim. He is the person that first leaked the existence of the PS5 Pro. So if he's making a statement, it's time to sit up and pay attention. But his words are this. Hey, Tom Henderson, how accurate are these specification leaks? Can't comment on other people's leaks because I don't know. Internally, Sony is expecting full specs to leak this month because dev, uh, dev kit distribution to third-party studios. Okay, so this is interesting to me for two separate reasons. One, 
It's wild that PlayStation is now savvy enough to realize that if you send out a bunch of stuff, something's going to slip to the press. The fact that, like, not only is nothing secret, but in the age of everybody having a cell phone, everybody having a social media account, somebody is going to get excited and post some sort of console specification. So even internally, they're like, okay, this isn't bad PR. It's it's a good console upgrade. It's going to leak. What are you going to do? But additionally, I do think it's fascinating that right now devs have the kit. It's coming out in a year. I think that's super interesting to, con- to sort of ponder who probably has this. Rockstar Games, Naughty Dog. Now, it specifically says third-party studios. So, I'm trying not to mention, of course, places like Insomniac have one because they're first party, but I guess I'm just wondering what games are going to have that PlayStation 5 Pro update first? Who is going to have that graphical boost that makes you go, okay, now I'm ready to begin the next generation of next generation? Tell me your guys' thoughts. Are you actually interested in a PlayStation 5 Pro? I am definitely a big believer in the diminishing returns of graphics. Visuals just keep getting better and better and better. Every generation is cleaner, sharper, faster. It's getting to that point where we're getting so close to bumping against realism, we really are competing for 2 to 5% visual upgrades at this point. I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5 Pro simply because I do review games. I'm curious to see what it looks like. But initially, right out of the gate, I don't think it's going to be that different. I guess we'll see when we actually see it. But tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.